Isn't that a beautiful plant? Who could imagine that such a pretty looking plant can feed on insects? Plants that feed on animals, especially insects, are called insectivorous plants. The structures of these insectivorous plants, which trap insects, are actually modified leaves. These plants are naturally found in the areas where soil lacks nutrients. They obtain additional nutrient supplements from the animals they trap. These insectivorous plants have special trapping mechanisms to catch their prey and they have special enzymes to absorb them. Let us now look at some insectivorous plants and learn how they trap their prey. This is a picture of a pitcher plant. It definitely got its name because of its shape, just like a pitcher of water. Here, the insects go into the pitcher, looking for some syrupy fluid in the pitcher. But they get stuck in the pitcher as the lid closes. What happens after that? The plant secretes enzymes or digestive juices inside the pitcher and the insect is digested. Bladder warts have tiny bladders that create a vacuum in it to suck in small aquatic insects. The bladder has a small opening sealed by a hinged door. The door is surrounded by hair. When small aquatic insects touch the hair, the hinged door opens and the insect is sucked into the bladder. The insect is then absorbed by the plant using digestive enzymes. Like most of the insectivorous plants, sundew is also a very attractive looking plant. The upper surfaces of the leaves are covered with tentacle-like stalks. These tentacles contain glands that produce sticky secretions to trap and digest insects. When the insect sits on these tentacles, the leaf folds over it and the insect is caught. This is Venus flytrap. Another insectivorous plant wherein the leaves literally snap shut when insects land on it. The leaf is modified into two blades with thorn-like structures along the margins. These blades are hinged along at the midrib. Look what happens when an insect sits on it. Snap! After about 10 days, it reopens only after the digestion is complete. Now, watch this carefully. The fly unknowingly hovers over the leaves of a Venus flytrap plant. And there, it gets trapped. That's the wonder of nature. Many of these insectivorous plants are capable of living in barren or boggy places as they get the nutrients from the insects they feed on, instead of from the soil.